Hi, welcome to Luna Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general love and life reading for Taurus. Happy birthday, Taurus. Welcome to your season. I hope that you're doing well and enjoying your, your birthday, your birthday season, your season in general. I hope everything's going exactly the way you want it to go, and you have tons of blessings coming in. Again, happy birthday. Um, you could have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, Venus placements. Um, please forgive me. I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm pretty much over the cold. I just had like the sniffles part. Um, anyways, Taurus, please keep in mind that these readings are general. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Roles, I need tissue. I'm sorry. One second. Roles can be reversed. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, I will do a you versus all 12 zodiac signs towards the end of this reading. So please stick around for that. Um, that will be towards the end of this video. Um, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, my email is in the description box below. The 50% off on all private personal readings will end at the end of May. Slots are almost full for the month of May. So if you want to get one, you might want to do that now, okay? Um, also, there's going to be an extended to this reading. The link to that will be in the description box below as well as the comment section below. Um, what else? Please, 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 please compare your transit your, or your birth chart to all the different transits. We are Mercury retrograde in your sign. So I hope you're handling that well. We have a lot of different other transits going on. And we do have a full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio tomorrow. Um, we are in a full moon in Scorpio right now. And Scorpio is your sister sign. Okay. Which would be like your seventh house. Okay. So definitely, um, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to do a reading for that. An all signs reading. So when that gets posted, definitely check that out as well. Um, vet everything, everyone, every time, including me. Do your own research. Um, do your own studies, your own research. Form your own opinions. Come to your own conclusions. Never make any life-changing decisions or choices based on any general reading on YouTube, okay? I think that's pretty much it, okay. So they want me to do a little something different for you. <laughs> um, I got these cool little oracle cards um, from, I love... Um, this Etsy store called Vibe About It. In fact, I'm going to post it, <coughs> the link to her shop, Vibe, is Vibe About It, um, on uh, here in just a little while. I'm going to post it on my community tab, um, the Oracle cards that I got, um, and the link to the shop. So I'll take a screenshot of what they are and a uh, link to the shop. And this is called the The Tea Has Spilled. Deck. So they want me to pull these first for you, and they um, take reversals, okay, because they have different meanings on them. So let's see what's going on. Um, Spirit wants me to do this for you. I have not done this for any other sign. I just got these today, by the way, and then they want me to clarify these. So let's see. What is going on for Taurus, please? Tea has spilled. What tea has spilled, or what is it going to spill? And you will have an extra reading this week because it's your birthday season. Okay. Someone is spreading the tea because they are jealous. Okay. So it's not necessarily true whatever they're saying. This Obviously, this could be you. This could be somebody else. But I don't really feel like it's you. I feel like it's somebody else. We're going to clarify that. What else, please? Because they're jealous. So the green eye monster has definitely got a hold of somebody. I feel like this could be like a sister, sister-in-law, brother, brother-in-law of you, you know, you, your partner. Okay. We also have moving on with your life and saying goodbye to the past. So, doesn't matter. Um, this could even be, let's say if you broke up with somebody, like a partner, spouse, whatever, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, right? Whatever your preferences, orientation is. Because you're moving on with your life and saying goodbye to the past... You know, better horizons are on or are, are, are in the future for you. They are going around just talking crap about you. So rude, right? This could be even like an ex friend or an ex partner, ex wife, ex husband, or soon to be ex is what I just heard. If it isn't actually, if someone got ghosted, they weren't 
interested they weren't interested enough or interesting enough they feel like you ghosted them but i don't feel like you ghosted them i feel like well i mean you might have i don't know but i feel like it wasn't so much you ghosting them it's just that you were like i gotta move on with my life kind of scenario what else please for Taurus? so they're just mad because you're moving on okay we have two um, we have mediator, problem, dispute. A mediator may help settle a dispute. Call a good one. I'm not an attorney. This is not legal advice. You do need to talk to somebody, a lawyer or a mediator that can help you um, navigate the situation a little bit easier with more ease. And that way it's fair. And then you also have reported to human resources due to someone's jealousy and vindictiveness. So this could even be something about work, whether it's a partner or not. I get two scenarios here or two situations that are happening. Now, one of these could be happening in your life or both of these could be happening in your life. For some of you, you're possibly getting a divorce. And this person is being really petty, like really like extra petty. Okay. Which really isn't fair, but they're bitter, right? They're just being a bitter Betty, whether they're... Rather, they're, um, you know, being a, a bitter Betty who's salty ass, you know, bitch, basically. Which really isn't fair to you. Or they're saying that you're being this way. I don't really feel like you are. I mean, don't get me wrong. You don't want to really piss off a Taurus. Or any fixed sign for that matter. But I feel like more so this is them. Um, so you might want to call a mediator for that. Someone is also could be mad that you're ghosting them. But I don't really feel like you're ghosting them. You're leaving them behind. You're moving on with your life, which is natural if you're breaking up or getting a divorce, right? I feel more so this might be a divorce. Now, the other scenario that could also be going on at the same time, so it could be one or the other or both, is that somebody at your job wants your position. Mm -hmm. And they are, they are literally trying to do everything in their power to take that from you and they're doing it out of vindictiveness because they feel like you don't deserve whatever position that you have which also petty and also not fair right i don't really think you give a crap or give you know whatever what is this spreading someone is spreading the tea because they are jealous so you got jealous people around you like in general um i get i get if it's work it's like two people particularly one in relationship it's your partner I see what is it spreading with tea because they are jealous I feel like it's not even real tea it's just making up stories what is this someone spreading tea fictitious tea because they are jealous what is this jealous bitter person about for Taurus yeah, look, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Because they're telling people that you're very disloyal to them. They're, yeah. And that you were a burden or that your disloyalty created a lot of burdens for them. Um, and I have to say, Tauruses are pretty loyal people. Now, that may not, obviously, Taurus or Crosswatcher, that may not be every Taurus on the planet. Because every Zodiac sign from Aries to Pisces... We have our good, bad, and ugly sides, okay? But this person is saying that your disloyalty was a was a burden. Yep, and you were you were also creating a lot of financial burdens for them. I don't feel like that was necessarily true. Tauruses love to work. Tauruses are hard workers. Okay, it says moving on with your life, saying goodbye to the past. Yeah, look, five of pentacles reverse. They are saying that you want to come back to them. I don't feel like that's true. There's are they're saying you'll come back. You all you always come back. Is what I'm hearing. You always come back, Taurus. Maybe you have in the past, but it's always it can always be a new day, right? There's always a first for everything. You don't always have to come back, right? Some of you might. Most of you won't. They're probably telling you, oh, you'll be back. You can't survive without me. Kind of crap. Ooh. okay tell me more about this okay yeah look king of pentacles reverse 
Taurus energy. They are, <laughs> I told you, they're telling people that you're corrupt, that you're greedy, that, um, you know, you, you know, you'll be back. They're telling you that you'll be back because you can't financially survive on your own. I don't feel like that's true. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I feel like, Taurus, you're going to find a way. Tell me more about moving on. Yeah, look, eight of pentacles reversed and the five of cups. They're literally telling you, you're not going to have anything without me. You're going to regret this decision. I don't feel like you are. Someone got ghosted. They weren't interested enough or interesting enough. Or they weren't acting interested in you. So I feel like your person, um, Taurus, romantically, whether it's boyfriend, I feel like it's more so a marriage, but it could be boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, or engagement. They're, te they're basically, you have a blamer. They're blaming everything on you, taking zero, like zero accountability for themselves and their portion of the responsibility of the dissolution of this marriage or relationship. They literally are playing the victim. They're blaming you and playing the victim to take zero accountability. And meanwhile, they're saying the most awful, god awful shit to you. Someone got ghosted, okay. Yeah, hermit card. See, you're going you're on a spiritual path here, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay. And this you might have ghosted a Virgo. And they're basically telling you you're on a spiritual path, right? Either you I feel like you I feel like you ghosted a Virgo. And they are literally playing a victim. But you are literally on a healing path. Like you you saw this person for the snake that they are. Uh, Taurus right and in in here is the star of Aquarius right which is lighting your path so you can see the snakes on your path you're going in a totally different direction you know and that's okay and this person is just being bitter about it really really salty very salty about this tell me more about this person yeah five of swords in reverse because you are not falling for their mental manipulations anymore you're not playing their games anymore that's aquarius energy yeah strength card in the upright you're you're stepping forward with cur with courage and fortitude you're holding back your energy you're doing what you got to do for you and at the end of the day that's what you have to do right and you're moving forward you're not fighting with somebody anymore you're not fighting with them for them about them you don't even want to talk about it anymore because it's kind of like you know beating a dead horse it's 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 a, it's a not issue for you you're over it you know it might have taken you a long time to get here um taurus but i feel like you're actually like over it over it mediator problem and dispute a mediator may help settle a dispute call a good one so you may now this could be for a marriage if it's a marriage if it's not a marriage y'all may have to go to a mediator well whether it's a marriage or boyfriend girlfriend or possibly even a living situation you may have to talk to a mediator be able to divide up assets or money or property i don't really think you care i think you just want to walk but you might want to talk to one anyways why is the mediator here what is this dispute over I heard child support. If there's children involved, it would be child support. If it's not that, it's um, if it's not about children, it's about property, personal property, or assets like money or house or vehicle or whatever. Okay, well, that's too many. Okay, less card spirit, less card. What is this mediator problem dispute? Yeah, cherry in the reverse. This person doesn't want you to have a card. This could be a cancer could be an Aries or Sagittarius. They are trying to quite literally stop you from moving forward, period. By any, They're trying to slow one. If they can't stop you, they're going to slow the process down to almost a grinding halt. At least that's their mentality. Um, there could be fighting over a vehicle. There could be arguments over a vehicle. Or just movement forward. This person wants to put blockages and, and blo uh, blockages on blockages on blockages from you moving forward with your life. It could also be a Cancer. So Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius that's trying to quite literally block you from moving on with your life. Because they're just being bitter and jealous. Now, this is about work. <coughs> Excuse me. 
human resources is now getting involved because this person says reported to human resources due to someone's jealousy and vindictiveness. This person is making up some type of issue about you at your job saying you did this, that, and the other, or you're not doing your job, this, that, and the other, or some type of harassment issue. Um, when I don't feel like you've done anything in order to try to get you fired, keep you from elevating or moving on or getting promotion. Tell me more about this mediator problem. This view. Yeah. Three of cups reverse ace of swords reverse two of cups. This person does not want you to move forward and they're, they're lying. They're even, they're lying about you having a third party because they don't want you to move forward. This person, if this is a relationship, they're, t they're telling your person Taurus that they were the third party. And this is an ex of yours. Mm -hmm. If you've moved on to a new relationship, who's your actual soulmate here, they're, they're lying to your soulmate person saying, oh yeah, Taurus trying to get with me. Mm -hmm. Or, um, Taurus, for some of you, you're lying to your ex's new partner or spouse saying that they try to get with you when they didn't. It's a lie. Okay. For some of you. Now, for others of you, uh, You might be trying to get an ex-partner to go into mediation with you to try to settle some type of child support dispute, if that's the case. Or there's a third party coming in trying to ruin your relationship and or marriage. Now, if it's about a job, somebody who's jealous of your position, who wants your position, who doesn't want you to advance forward, and they're being very vindictive, they're saying that you did something, harassment or whatever, in order to try to get you fired so you don't get a promotion, or trying to get you demoted. Okay, show me this um, jealous, vindictive person. Yeah, Eight of Swords. They might be even trying to get you locked up. Eight of Swords, that's that's like jail. Someone's trying to get you locked up. Yeah, Four of Wands. Because they don't want you getting married. Or you don't want somebody else getting married. I don't know. Yep, Eight of Wands in the reverse. Because they won't, you won't talk to them or they won't talk to you. I don't know how that works for you. Somebody is... Uh, someone's also calling Immigration. If that applies, just to be spiteful, they're calling your job, they're calling immigration, it could be an ex, it could be an ex-lover who feels slighted for whatever reason. I don't feel like it's a friend. I feel like it's a lover or an ex-partner spouse. Mm, very, very vindictive. Bad. What's going to be, let me get some more. Tell me about this person who's doing all this jealous, bitter, salty person. Um, issues are making you feel stuck and unable to move forward. This is what they're trying to do because they're stuck. They want you to be stuck. Okay. Tell me more. Obsessed with your looks or the appearance of others. This person is so jealous of you. Of how you look, you might be a very attractive person, man or woman, doesn't matter. You know, and they want you to feel stuck because they feel stuck. Or they want your person to feel that way because they feel like your person is very attractive or whatever, your new person. Taking notes in order to take over. This person wants to take over your life, okay? Whomever this is. They want to take over your job, they want to take over your life, your relationship, whatever it is. I mean, they're just <laughs> they're just doing the absolute most for no apparent reason, okay? They're obsessed. Or they think you are. I don't know. Maybe for some Tauruses, maybe it's you. I don't know. Um, what's the issues making you feel stuck? Yeah, okay, look, judgment. They want you to feel judged. Okay? Sagittarius energy, they want you to feel judged. Five of Pentacles reverse. So that way you come back. Mm hmm They want you to make a decision. They want you to feel stuck. That way you make a decision to come back to them if, if it's an ex. I'm obsessed with your with your looks of your looks or your person's looks or this is you. Why is that here? Very judgmental. Yeah, nine of pentacles reverse. Somebody here does not. Somebody doesn't want you to feel abundant mm -mm, or attractive or stable or your person. Yeah, three of pentacles in the upright. So what's nine from three with negative six, right? They don't want anybody to give to you or to your person or you don't want this. Taking those to take over. They want to take over your life or your person's life or your job. Yeah, look, two of pentacles. They're trying to make a decision about how to go about doing this. Give me a Virgo. That's really pissed off at you. Temperance and Knight of Swords. 
they do not want you to make the decision to heal. They want to fight against that. They want to be really, really harsh with the words. They want to be very, very petty towards you. They feel, I mean, the bitter. Bitter as shit. Bitter. Yeah. The Magician reverse, Virgo, Gemini, exceptionally manipulative. And the Three of Wands reverse because they're very impatient. They lack the foresight. And the Ten of Swords reverse because they feel like you betrayed them because you didn't choose them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look, lovers. Yeah, bottom is that they're very, very, man or woman doesn't matter. They're very petty, very vindictive, very spiteful. Yeah. Yep. Very manipulative. Very uh, this is a salty, bitter ass bitch. It, man or woman, bad. If it's, if it's a Virgo, you're not bad, bad, bad. Yeah, look the devil, look the devil, and the Ace of Wands. Like they want, all they want is for you to. They're obsessed with with your sex. All they want is for you to choose them no matter what the cost. Yeah, Seven of Cups. They want you to feel confused. They want to create a lot of manipulation around you. They could be doing some type of spell work here. Yeah, the World card. So you can't get away from them. They're very abusive. They're very, also very, very defensive with the Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords in reverse. They're lying about you online. This Virgo Gemini. Mm, I get more Virgo Gemini. Maybe Aquarius. Yeah, they're going to get karma for this crap, though. Ooh, Queen of Wands reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Super spiteful. They could also be trying to go to a witch to do spell work for them. Mm -hmm. They're a liar. Show me this ace, big liar. They're a big liar. Ace, uh, ace of Swords in reverse. Big liar. Yeah, a star. <sighs> they're, they lied about what they wanted. And they're blaming you for it. Yeah, Ace of Cups in the upright. You got a lot of Aces here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and then the Ace of Swords in reverse though. They lied about loving you and they lied about hoping to heal this. Justice in reverse. Yeah, they're going to get karma for this big time. Big time. Judgment and the Will of Four. We got Judgment. We got Will of Fortune reverse and now Justice reverse. They're going to get massive karma for this. Yeah. Um, I heard defamation and slander case. Page of Pentacles reverse Virgo energy because you rejected them. You were not taking their apology. Page of Cups in the reverse. Um, Pisces Cancer energy. They're very emotionally immature. Very, um, you know, uh, they're having a whole ass tantrum because you will not take their apology. You don't want to talk to them anymore. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Who is this person? I feel like you got one person that's in, what, about a relationship that I don't feel like you are either, either you're still in and you're about to leave or you've already left and you got one person in your job and your, your ex or maybe you're about to leave this person is trying to get you fired from your job and get you locked up. Or something about immigration. I don't know. Something about immigration too. Or or something like that. They are really bitter. Real bad. Mm-hmm. Very corrupt. Very vindictive. Very entitled person. Could be a Virgo Gemini. Really could be any sign. Let me do your all signs now. I don't like that energy. It feels um, pretty grody to be honest with you. I feel like you're you're fine, but just you need to get a mediator or an attorney, or then do that. I'm not in the law. I'm not a lawyer. This person also could be trying to stalk you online, possibly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me um Taurus versus all twelve zodiac signs. I don't want. I don't like this. This person's salty, bad. bad this is a person like a clown bitter salty clown bad very spiteful okay all right let's see who are you doing with? let's see show me taurus versus all 12 zodiac signs aries to pisces please. taurus versus all 12 zodiac signs aries to pisces please here we go Aries, 
coffee beans, snooze, wake up call, fresh start. This Aries wants a fresh start with you. <laughs> if you were dealing with another Taurus, so this is you. We got chameleon, camouflage, and kind of, you know, adaptation. You're trying to adapt to the situation that you're in. Red hot chili peppers, intense passion, lust, or desire. Or you or another Taurus is trying to hide their lust and desire for someone else. If you're dealing with a Gemini, chocolate cupcake, tasty treat, unexpected surprise. They want to surprise you with something. Uh, Gemini does. If you don't want a Cancer, binocular spy, lurking, inquisitive, and curious. They are watching you online especially. May might even be driving by your house. They are lurking. They are spying on you. Why? Yeah, tennis ball, competition, games, and flurry. They are spying on your new person, your ex-person, whomever, your new relationship. This cancer is like spying on your new person, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. Um, love interest, dating person, whatever. They are at, they are looking them up online, talking them online, driving by y'all's house. This person's this cancer's little cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Okay, no no judgment toward it. If you don't Leo lipstick flirt infidelity and evidence, this Leo might be cheating on you. Okay, caterpillar early stage metamorphosis. This person has changed. So if there was a Leo that cheated on you, um Taurus, they have changed. Or if you want a Leo to cheat with you, Taurus, they're not going to. They've changed for the right one. Possibly a Scorpio. If you don't want a Virgo, clouds, fog, haze, confuse, confusion. This person is very confused, but they also want to make you feel confused. They're trying to manipulate you and other people about you. Red, maple leaf, seasons, time lapse, and cycles. This is a cycle that you've been dealing with this Virgo. Fairy, wishes fulfilled, dreams and innocent. This person acts like they're innocent online when really they're not. If you're dealing with Libra, ladder, climbing, new heights and elevate. This Libra is trying to, to elevate their life. If you want a Scorpio, bookshelf, karmic lessons. This Scorpio has learned their karmic lesson or maybe you have. Tell me more. Suitcase, burdens, baggage and escapism. This Scorpio is about to leave a situation. Paintbrushes, creative, inspiration, and passion. They feel um, inspired to do so because of something. What? Why? Tree of Life because they have karma and opportunity because they're 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 they've learned a lesson and now they're getting a blessing or an opportunity to do so. Or maybe they're very artistic or about maybe they are about to be inspired to paint. Okay, if you're just with a Sagittarius, we got pink box, gift, keepsake, and remembrance. There's a Sagittarius that has something of yours that that they remember you by. If you're doing with a Capricorn, snake, deception and lies. This Capricorn is a liar. Bad. Bad. Yeah. Why? Smoke grenade, sabotage, explosion, and smoke. They're trying to use lies and manipulation to make people not like you or want to deal with you or talk to you. Why? Red wine, seduction, temptation, evil. This Capricorn is evil. Mm -hmm. If you want Aquarius, turtle, slow moving, cautious, and hard exterior. They're, they're very cautious about you right now. Or do you feel this way about them? Why? Flashlight, clarity, discovery, investigation. This Aquarius is very slow moving and cautious about you because they're afraid of a discovery or what they might find out about you. Or there's something about investigation regarding Aquarius. Why? Leather belt, tied down, restricted and boundaries. They have to, this is an Aquarius putting up boundaries with you. Something's being investigated. They're investigating something. Or you're investigating an Aquarius. Pisces. Apple. Forbidden fruit and temptation. There is a Pisces that's trying to tempt you or your person. Why? Huh. Keen eyesight, observation, and watching. You are watching this. You're watching a Pisces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like a poison apple, rotten apple. What a Pisces. Yeah. Dark, uh, dark black shades, incognito and discreet. But you can see right through the bullshit. Or they can see right through yours. I don't know. Yeah. Someone can see right through the bullshit here regarding a Pisces. And Pisces is going is Saturn in their sign, so it's like intense right now. Diamond ring, true loyalty, love token. <clears throat> There's a Pisces that wants to be married, or that is married. Yep, Spider Man, superhero, invincible, and vulnerable, and sneaky. Yeah, they're real sneaky. They're sneaking around. They could actually be married and hiding that from you. Aloe vera, healing, soothing, relief. They're trying to heal something. They're sneaking around trying to heal a marriage. And you don't know about it, okay, um, Taurus? Or vice versa. But also sneaking around. It's a weird message for that one. <coughs> I just heard you could miss a Scorpio. 
possibly. I also heard the Scorpio misses you. Someone needs to reach out. <laughs> um, okay, who could you be dealing with? I'm so sorry about my nose. This is, I know, it sounds horrible. I'm sorry. These things are really good, by the way. Not a paper motion, but these are really good. Kind of tasty. Better than Red Bull. I don't like Red Bull. Or Monster. I don't like that either. Okay, you can be done with Libra. Aquarius. A Leo. A Capricorn. Yourself, Taurus, or another Taurus. Gemini could be involved. Virgo. I said where the hell away from that Virgo, though. Aries. And Aries or Capricorn. And we have Pisces and Pisces, so. Okay. So, you could be done with a Pisces, Aries, Virgo. Gemini. Leo. Another Taurus, so this is you. Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Your chart, their chart. Okay. Or maybe a combination. Let's see. Ooh. Scrabble tiles. No extended on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So this could be first, middle, last initial. Your name, your person's name, anybody else who could be involved's name. Also, uh, additional messages. Okay, what do you have for Taurus, please? Yeah, someone's real bitter around you. you got a real bit jealous, salty, bitter, spiteful person around you. In love and in work. Not nice. Taurus. Not nice at all. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Not nice. Okay. Let me turn over. Not nice. Sorry. Like, really kind of mean. Kind of mean. You know? Okay. So we have the letter G. A. U. R. N. B. I. S. P. J R L E I C L R and E. Okay. Let's get you some guidance. <coughs> Guidance, please, for Taurus regarding this reading, please. Guidance, please, for Taurus regarding this reading, please. Okay. You have take time to breathe out. Yeah, take, you know, take all the time you need. Screw the haters, right? Yeah, nothing will come of the situation. And remember, you are good enough. I'm telling you, there's something going on about a Virgo. Sun or moon. Communication is key. Gemini energy, and you also have expect powerful change. So if you communicate with somebody that you haven't spoken to in a, a hot minute, there is change there. But if you're dealing with a Virgo, I don't recommend it. Or a Gemini, I don't recommend it. Okay, step out of your comfort zone, and it is a time for healing. Okay? All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Well, Taurus, that has been your reading. Um, I really hope this helps you. I will do an extra one for you towards the end of this week. Um, probably on Saturday at some point. Um, I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please, please, please take care of yourself. Hit the notification bell. That way you know the next time I upload. I love you so much. And please take care of yourself. This person is kind of mean. Whomever this person is, like the ex or whomever this person is, this love interest person or and this person from work is i don't like it okay so watch out for that okay and take care of yourself and i'm proud of you until next time